may adlaw na tong tanan. If you hate asking for help or feeling dependent on somebody else to complete your everyday functions, such as getting dressed, using the toilet, taking a shower, or even as simple as getting food from the kitchen, because you are rigid, you're tight, you're slow, or you are frequently falling, then you are watching the right video because here I'm going to show you simple yet effective exercises to improve your mobility, your balance, and coordination. And you can do this anywhere, maybe at home or even at the park. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist. And my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. So the exercises I'm going to show you in this video is based on research and formulated by experts on movement disorders such as Parkinson's disease, stroke, multiple sclerosis, and other neurological diseases. And by doing these exercises regularly, or every day for that matter, will greatly improve your quality of movement. You will reduce your risk of falling and slow down the decline of your disease process and in fact improve your cognitive function. Yes, it sounds too good to be true, but if you are ready to be independent again, well stay tuned, follow along, and if you find the video helpful, please click on that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up, all right? So let's get started. All right, we'll be doing these exercises sitting down, so this is suitable for you guys who don't have good balance yet. But if you have good balance, try to do these exercises standing up, okay? So the first exercise is sky and earth. So we will reach up and then we will reach down alternating right and left arm. All right. So let's start. We raise our arms first and then we reach down one and two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so that is sky and earth. Next exercise, we are going to do marching in place. So try to bring your knee as high as you can and bring it back down, then do the left side, all right? So let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that is marching in place. Okay, the next exercise is a leg swing to the side. So you kick first and then swing to the side like you're drawing a semicircle. And then we do the left side, okay? So let's start with the right. So kick up and swing down, all right? Let's start. One, swing down, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's do the left side. So kick up, semicircle down, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, if that was too fast for you, you can slow down the video. Just click on that speed button there in the video section just slow it down or you can pause and try to complete 10 repetitions okay so the next exercise we are going to rock forward and punch then come back all right 
So rock forward and come back and try to punch your thigh too. Not too hard, you don't want any bruises, okay? So rock forward and punch. Rock forward and punch down, all right? So let's go, let's do 10. Punch, punch your thigh. Rock forward and down. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that's rocking and punching. Now, before we move on to the next exercise, I am going to do the attendance check and type down below, build abilities. Again, build abilities, because we are trying to build abilities so that we don't have to ask for much help to do our everyday functions, okay? Again, build abilities. Next exercise, we are going to rock forward. Now we are rowing back, all right? Rock forward, row back. Let's do 10. One, two, three. This almost looks like punching forward too, okay? Four, five, six, seven. I forgot to rock forward that time. It's all right. Lean forward, swing, and nine and 10. And that is rocking forward and rowing. So rock and row. All right, the next exercise is going to be a twist and point. So keep your arms as straight as possible to your sides and have your index fingers pointing out, all right? So just like this, twist as far as you can go to either directions, okay? So let's do 10, one. Two, really twist from the belly, okay? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that is twist and point. All right, for the last exercise, we are going to do the functional part of this program. So get you a belt and make a loop. Make sure it is not tight on you. Make sure that it is wide enough, okay? So put your legs through and pull it up to your thighs. And we are going to stand up as we pull it up to your hips, and then we pull it down. It, it, this belt is a little tight on me, so I'm going to lose it, loosen it up a little bit, all right? So we're going to pull it up and pull it down, all right? Let's do 10. Make sure your chair is behind you so you have lesser chances of falling. No falling while doing these exercises, okay? So let's do 10. One. Pull it down. And two. Now, if you don't have a belt, just slide your arms from the knees up to your hips and then slide down, okay? Let's do uh, eight more. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, just two more, nine, and ten. And bring your legs out, and that is your functional part of this exercise program. All right, congratulations. You have completed another session of dynamic exercises for movement disorders. Now, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, just type it down below in the comment section. And please do not forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you really like this video, share this to your family and friends who will benefit from this video. 
And just a reminder, consistency is the key and never give up. Until next time, paalam! Shoo!